today we're really happy to welcome to the program the exalted ruler of the Quincy Lodge of Elks, Julianne Creedon is with us, along with longtime member of the Elks, State Representative Bruce Ayers. Julianne, Bruce, great to see you both. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Nice to be here. Yeah, Bruce, uh, this has been a passion of yours since your dad instilled it in you, right? That's being, right. Being a lodge yeah. member, yeah. Uh, a long time ago, my father, Charlie, uh, uh, told my brother Chuck and I to get involved in the Elks and, and back then we didn't really know much about it and uh, you know once once we joined and we, we got involved with some of the different uh, committees and programs and met a lot of nice people uh, it, it's a great organization. One of the biggest changes I'm sure uh, since your dad and then you uh, became members was the fact that women are now able to be Elks and in fact Julianne, able to be the exalted ruler of the Elks. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Yeah. Tell me about your kind of journey, I guess, if you would, to the Lodge of Elks here in Quincy. Uh, my journey was a delightful one. A mm. uh, good longtime friend, I've known since I was three years old, uh, said, hey, come on up. Let's go to the meat raffle. So, okay, never been to a meat raffle. And I won. <laughs> I wanted more meat. <laughs> so I kept going back. And then, like, I met a lot of people, and we became friends. So then I said, I'm going to join. Uh -huh. So I joined, and I started in at the uh, a lower spot, like the, the, the Tyler. It's a position, an officer's position. Okay. And um, I did that for a couple of years, and then I went through what we call the chairs, which are uh, lecturing night, loyal night, and leading night. And then that brings you to the exalted ruler. So I went through all the chairs to learn what Elkton is all about, mm. and uh, I go to regional meetings, uh, lodge meetings, every other Tuesday, 7 o'clock, we have a lodge meeting. So. How long have you been uh, exalted ruler now? Well, this is actually my second time. Oh, it is? Yes, oh, okay. yes. I was exalted ruler in 2018 okay. to 2019, and then COVID was kind of tough on our lodge, right. uh, but we did have an exalted ruler, uh, a past exalted ruler as an exalted ruler again, and Maureen Mishu, she did a great job holding the lodge and pulling us through the COVID um, experience. Yes, yeah, uh, you and everybody else at the same time. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, so when about, do you know, was were women able to become elves? In the 70s. Oh, it was that long ago, okay, yeah. all right. And what would you say their kind of ratio is, I guess, between men and women right well, now? Well, I don't have the numbers yeah, on that, no. but I know that everybody is grateful that women are involved mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we we have so much to give and so much to offer um, you know women can, can kind of do things a little different than men mm -hmm. you know and yep. um, we pull an exciting pot um, to the elkdom. So what is your most favorite thing about being a, an elk? Um, giving back to the community yeah. uh, but also all the fantastic people that I've met mm -hmm. and it's not mm -hmm. just at the Quincy Elks, it's throughout the state and throughout the nation, um, traveling and learning about elkdom and different ways that we can support our community. I've never heard the term elkdom, so that, that yeah. alone is an education, yeah. What is kind of the, the history of, of the group? Well, the history, there was this gentleman, he came over from um, England in the late 1800s. He was an actor. Okay. And um, him and his friends started hanging out and having parties privately like on a Sunday when you know bars and places were closed. Right, yeah. One thing led to another and they started um, giving back to people that needed help like if one of their friends died they would help out the wife and um, it's just grown from there. Mm. Unfortunately there was a separation there were nine gentlemen and uh, Charles Vivian who started this he was part of the four and then there were five that wanted to go with um, elks. Okay. With the four wanted to go with like water buffalo or oh, something. Oh, like that. just the name they were right, arguing yes, about. Okay. Right. right. I mean, they, they actually went to the, a library to find uh, an animal that w could represent, you know, elkdom. And, oh. um, you know, the deer, you know, takes care of the, their, their family yeah. and their community. And, you know, they're not violent. Yeah. And, that's what I was going to ask where the name came from. Okay. Yeah. Where was that? Where was the founding? What part of the country? Um, I know that they started in New York. Okay. And, but the headquarters now, I believe, is in Chicago. Oh, I see. Okay. And the Quincy Lodge? What's the history of the Quincy Lodge? Quincy Lodge started down 
before I was a member, started down in downtown Quincy mm -hmm. Center. I'm not really sure of the address. Okay. Um, and it uh, was created in 1905. Wow. So we've been around for, what, 116 years? Yeah. And um, I'd probably say maybe 20 years ago, we bought the property up on the top of Quarry Hill, and uh, we built the facility, mm -hmm. and uh, we've been thriving there ever since. Um, we have the uh, Barrett's family that will run our Terrell Room, which is a beautiful, fantastic place for weddings or bereavement parties yes. or birthday parties. It's just a beautiful view overlooking um, the Blue Hills. It's, it's one of the hidden gems, I like yeah. to call it. And ever since the remodeling a few years ago, um, it really is a, is a beautiful yes. spot. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Yeah. Um, and now one of the biggest, if not the biggest, uh, lodge? We are one of the biggest lodges in the state of Massachusetts. Wow. We have 1,619 members. Okay. And um, there is, I believe, 72 lodges in the state of Massachusetts. We used to have more, but unfortunately, some have merged together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and some have just dissolved, but we try to keep everybody in the loop. And like if you're in a lodge and they choose to dissolve the lodge, you can what we call demit to another lodge. Demit? Demit. Okay. So you're basically transferring. Oh, all right. Okay. So once an elk, always an elk, though? Is that? Yeah, as long as you pay your dues. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And Bruce, I know um, it's a passion for you, really. It's, 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 it's something that you just love as, as, as a member. Well, you know, as, as Julie said, <coughs> you meet a lot of great people. Yeah. Uh, they do a lot of charity work. And I, sometimes I don't think people realize uh, how much the Elks gives back to the city of Quincy. Um, and, and Julie is being modest. This is, this is a second time being exalted ruler. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the biggest lodges in the state. Uh, it's an awful lot of responsibility when you're the exalted ruler. You're, you're basically running the Elks. You're, you're dealing with the trustees. You you oversee a lot of committees, you mm -hmm, know, that mm -hmm. the Elks uh, uh, use throughout for charitable endeavors, yep. you know, uh, like like the scholarships. Yes. Um, so, you know, if, if people are out there watching and they, uh, they're they looking, you know, to get involved with their organization, um, we certainly encourage them to come up to the lodge. Uh, it's a beautiful facility. There's a lot of great people uh, and they just are always giving back. You know, mm -hmm. it's a good community uh, organization. Yeah, at a time when, you know, some volunteer organizations, some fraternal organizations are having a tough time yeah. uh, keeping and attracting uh, new members, but doesn't sound like the, the Elks <laughs> is having that trouble at all. No, <laughs> no not no, at all. Not a, especially our lodge, because it's, it's so much fun. We have a beautiful shuffleboard um, that you can play anytime you come up. Okay. Uh, we have a pool table, we've got music, we've got nine TVs throughout, we have <laughs> Kino, um, and it's just a fun place to be. We've got line dancing every Thursday night. Okay. Um, Saturdays we have the meat raffle, uh, which the is one of first, my favorites. First thing that yeah. attracted you, <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and there's the social aspect, but there's also the uh, the giving back aspect yes. of, of the Elks as well, the scholarship fund, Bruce, that you mentioned briefly. Yeah. Um, did, uh, have those already been awarded for this year? Uh, with the scholarships, uh, Joe, and, and like you say, the scholarships are one part of it. They, yeah. they do an awful lot for the veterans, for the seniors, yeah. uh, for the students, and, and with the students, you know, there's, there's a number of scholarship programs. Uh, there's the local lodge uh, scholarship program, mm -hmm. which we're now going to start to give out the applications. So uh, For next year, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, if... Uh, people watching want to get uh, uh, an Elks Lodge application, we certainly encourage them to contact the Lodge or myself. Uh, we'll, we'll mail you one out. Um, there's a local application. There's also a state uh, program, oh. you know, that we work with in uh, collaboration. There's a vocational scholarship. There's a nursing scholarship. There's national scholarships. So, you know, we, uh, we want people to know that the, uh, the Elks have these scholarship yeah. opportunities out there. Yeah. Is it open to, is it just Quincy students or is it open to anyone, do you know? Uh, yeah, it's open to people. Okay. You know, uh, we, we, we network with all the, uh, the high schools in the area. Okay. You know, all right. uh, mo mostly, of course, the Quincy and yeah. North Quincy, but, you know, uh, if they have a son or daughter that's uh, maybe in BC High right. or other, absolutely. Please okay. give us a call. We'll, uh, we'll help you out. We'll give you the information. Yeah, you're right. It is, it's quietly done. You know, the, the Elks don't draw a lot of uh, publicity, if you will, to themselves, um, yet, you know, with 1,600 plus, almost 1,700 plus members um, here in the city, they do a lot of good, I think, for sure. Yes. Um, as exalted ruler, Julianne, what would be kind of your 
goal for the Elks here in Quincy in your, in your term as ruler? Well, we, um, Elks, first of all, Elks care and Elks share. Mm -hmm. So giving back to the community is, you know, extremely important to us. Um, we're still trying to recover from the COVID experience mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we're slowly building that back up so that we can give more to our communities. So helping out people. Yeah, the holidays are coming, certainly. Um, right. Bruce, you mentioned veterans. T tomorrow is Veterans Day. We're taping this uh, the day before. So I know that the Elks are involved and many veterans are members of the Elks, I'm sure, uh, oh, yeah. as well. Yeah. So for the holidays, uh, Julie, what, what's the Elks doing this year? Well, the Elks is going to be giving out holiday baskets. Okay. Um, and to the veterans that like can't come out, we're gonna be giving them like $50 gift cards. Okay. Um, and then we have a members, for members only, mm -hmm. we're gonna have a members party. Okay. Um, and then New Year's Eve, we are open New Year's Eve for a celebration. Okay. So we should let folks know where and when you meet. Okay, well, um, our lodge is located at 254 Quarry Street, and um, we meet the second and fourth Tuesday of each month okay. for uh, meetings. What time? Uh, 7 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. In person now? Yes. You're back in person. Yes. Okay. Did you have virtual events or meetings during yes, the pandemic? Yes, we did. Yeah. We did. Um, the, a lot of the regional meetings yeah. were held on Zooms. Okay. But you're back now. Yes, we're back in person. In fact, um, Sunday I have to go up to Bill Ricker for a regional, a state regional meeting. Okay. How does one become a member of the Quincy Lodge of Elks? It's easy. Come on up, get an application, and fill it out. Now, it is preferred that you have a sponsor. Okay. That's somebody that's already an elk. But, yep. you know, if you come up, get the application, talk to a few people. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we can get you signed up. Okay. Um, I'm guessing you have to be at least 18? 21. Oh, 21. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, drinking age. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you have any younger members, like like in their 20s? Uh, yeah, a few. Okay. Yeah. I've Trying to reach out to more? Yes, of course, always. Are you utilizing social media at, at all? Yeah, we're on Facebook. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah. Quincy Alex 943. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, you're definitely embracing uh, the newest technology available. Yes. Yeah. Bruce, what is it that you get out of being an elk that, that keeps you coming back? I, I think one of the things that attracted me, and I'm sure with Julie too, is just, uh, as, as she alluded to, just, just helping out. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's a great organization that does a lot of good for people. You know, uh, if you become an Elks member, you don't necessarily have to get involved. You know, uh, mm. I think what a lot of people do is they'll they'll go up to the lodge, they'll they'll uh, kind of get a feel of uh, you know what they're all about, and then a lot of times they might pick a certain committee, whether it's mm. helping out veterans or getting involved with the students in schools, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, maybe helping out with the scholarships mm -hmm. like we do, and you know just just giving back. And at the same time, you know you. you you, you'll know a lot of people up there to begin with. You yeah. know, you'll be surprised who are members up there. But just a lot of nice people to, to work with, you know. Sure. And, and I think it's gratifying for a lot of people who, who give back like that. Yeah. What's uh, a favorite event uh, every year that you would say that you look forward to? Um, probably some of the holiday events. Yeah. You know, but yeah. there's, there's a lot of them. You know, there's a lot of great events that are going on. Um, you know, the scholarships are one of my favorites, I bet, you know, yeah. that we do giving back to the kids. Yep. You know, a lot of times you'll, you'll be out and about and you bump into uh, a past scholarship winner and the, the kids will say how they got a scholarship a few years back and maybe they just graduated from college. I was just going to ask you if you'd ever run into folks, yeah. uh, you know, who've yeah. taken that scholarship and ran with it, you know, and, and, and really... Uh, done well yeah it's it's yeah. nice to hear that yeah and you know and as a as a public official you know um, my colleagues and I we, we hear uh, you know we're out and about in the community we, we hear about the things that the Elks do you know you hear about a family who got maybe a holiday basket because they were having a little bit of a, you know bad luck that year yep. or yep. you hear about the student that uh, won the dictionary contest mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. or the veteran that got uh, some help through the Elks so uh, there's a lot of good that they do yeah um, Julie, for folks who might need some help from the Elks, um, what, what would you advise them to do if they, you know, if they if they need something help? Yeah, well, the if they're already a member, yeah. they can approach any board member. Okay, and um, you know, like if they can't afford their their dues, yeah. you know, 
we'd help them out with yeah. that. Um, or if they need help with other things. Um, if they're not members, say, but they're just members of the community, but they say, Jay, I wonder if the Elks could help me with dot, 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 you know, with the, the holidays this year. Or right. Okay. The, like if they wanted to put up w what we've done in the past, a giving tree. Okay. Um, so you'd put down the kid's name and how old they are, mm -hmm. and then people would take it off the tree, go out, wrap that gift, mm -hmm. and then put it back under the tree, and then we'll give them. No, also, too, we um, give out dictionaries to all the uh, third graders, but this year we're going to give them out to the third and fourth graders okay. because the fourth graders last year were third graders and they didn't get yes. any dictionaries. Yeah. So There's we're making it up. up to do. Yeah, yeah. So we're making up to them. That's a, that's a good point, Joe, too, that you, you say, because a lot of things that the Elks do, uh, it's important that people know they're done quietly. Yes. Discreetly. Yes. So if, you know, someone someone watching might know of somebody uh, a little down in their luck that might need yeah. uh, a holiday basket, right. you know, which is a, a big turkey meal with all the trimmings this year. The Sunday before uh, Christmas, mm -hmm. they always uh, work with the fruit basket. A lot of the members oh, go okay. up there early Sunday morning, go up there and, you know, work, uh, work with them there and give out all the baskets, you know, it could be something maybe a veteran in need, yeah. you know, uh, there's a lot of different ways you can help this out. This is what I'm thinking, you know, maybe if somebody has a neighbor that they're aware of that needs yeah. some help, yep. reach out to the Elks. There yes, might be some definitely. Assistance. Yeah. Send in that name. Yeah, or a um, teacher that might know of a student whose family is struggling, yeah. you know, perhaps. Yeah, absolutely. You know, reach, reach out to us because we, we give out donations all the time. Mm -hmm. um, every other week when the board of directors meets, um, we have communications from outside people. Okay. And we try to really focus in on Quincy. Okay. So like if we get something from Washington, D.C., we're like, yeah, you know, it could kind of be a little generic. So we, we try to keep it close to yeah. Quincy. Or you could forward it to a lodge closer to where right. that person is, right? Correct. Yeah. Sure. How many are there nationally? Do you know how many Elks are there nationally? Oh, boy. I Even don't know. Roughly. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Lots. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's yeah. like in Florida, I think there's or New Jersey. Somebody was saying that there's like 90 lodges in New Jersey. Is that right? So if you're an elk on vacation somewhere, uh, yes, you can go be, to any. You'd be elk. welcomed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You'd be welcomed. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. You know because you you walk in you you've already got something in common. Right. You're a brother or sister elk. And, yeah. You know they treat you that way yeah. and you get to see what uh, what the members are up to in their lodge. Mm-hmm. Julie, you mentioned the Board of Directors. What is kind of the governmental structure of the Elks? Well, of our lodge, we have, um, we, we call the chairs, which would be myself, the exalted ruler, leading knight, loyal knight, and uh, lecturing knight. And so knight, K-N-I-G-H-T. Correct. Okay, yeah. Right. <laughs> and then um, <coughs> we also have five trustees, okay. which, um, you know, oversee that was sticking and adhering to the budget. Yep. Yeah. And then we also have a secretary and a treasurer, a chaplain, okay. and an esquire, oh. inner god, and Tyler. Oh, all right. Interesting. So, so. Now, are there um, ritualistic type uh, events? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Like, um, it's actually, it's, uh, it's all written out in books, too. Oh, really? Like, for uh, Memorial Sunday, which we're having uh, December 5th. Okay. Uh, Mother's Day celebration, Flag Day celebration. Oh, all right. Um, and they're all real uh, ritualistic events. Okay, okay. And it's Will we see the uh, Quincy Elks in the Christmas parade this year? I'm not sure. I know okay. we always do the, fl uh, the Flag Day parade. Yes, yeah. When I was in the house running down the street, <laughs> <laughs> trying to hand out flags. And uh, Bruce, uh, just from a legal standpoint, uh, registered 501c3, nonprofit. Yo, sure, yeah. sure. And you know, uh, the, the Elks are always there to help out with these, as Julie mentioned earlier. All the community events, you know, things going on in the high schools, uh, yeah. things going on in the, the community, they're always giving back there too. Yep. So uh, there's a lot of different ways uh, that uh, members can help. Sure. All right. Anything else you'd like to let folks know about right now, about the Quincy Lodge of Elks? I'd, I'd say uh, just to encourage maybe some of your viewers to, to come on up. Okay. Come on up, check out the lodge. It's a beautiful facility. Uh, there's a lot of great people, and if you want to get involved in giving back, uh, there's a lot of charitable uh, endeavors yeah. that you can get involved with. Sure. Julie, anything else? Um, come up and, and discover us. Second and fourth Tuesday of every month, 7 yep. p.m. Right. At the In the Terrell Room, or is your lodge separate from the Terrell Room? Um, no, it's held in the Members Lounge. Members Lounge. Right. Okay. 
Uh, Joe, and we, yep. we want to thank you for uh, always being there, supporting the Elks, helping us kind of get the word out and letting people know uh, what the organization's all about. Sure, it's our pleasure. We're happy to oh. do it. Can I just... You um, can do whatever you want. I just, I just want to say... Um, <laughs> you are the exalted ruler. You do whatever you want. <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to yeah. Denise Sherloff, who is our first female state president. Really? Yep. Okay. Where she is was, she from? She's from, I uh, believe, the Wareham Elks. Okay. Wareham, New Bedford. Wow. Oh, she's from there. And so she was just, like, in initiated, installed um, down in Tampa okay. in July. Very good. So the glass ceiling has been shattered. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any aspirations to be, to be the state leader yourself? No. Okay. No. Um, Quincy's, Quincy's big yeah, enough for you. I, yeah. I wanna Keep things closer. Keep to it local. Home. All right. Thank you both again. Really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. You're very thank you, welcome. Joe. And thank you for watching us here at AM Quincy. I'm Joe Catalano. Please join us again next time. Mm -hmm.